Her story made headlines across Jamaica. The market vendor who graduated from the University of Technology with first class degree honors. How was she balancing a demanding job with demanding studies traveling back and forth across the country? My guest is Prime Minister Youth Awardee Kadeen Vidal. I'm Archibald Gordon. This is Profile. All right, so you have, you know, been making headlines across the country because of a special Prime Minister's Youth Award that you won. And your story overall of getting a first class degree in yes. hospitality and tourism. Management, yes. As well as also um, being a full-time vendor. Yes, definitely. When you found out you were going to get that award, how did you feel? Um, I was elated when I got the call because it's a milestone that I have accomplished. So when she phoned and told me that I have won the Prime Minister Award, I reached out to my family and I told them about it. And they all congratulated me. And I felt great that the Prime Minister saw the hard work that I did and he found it within himself to give me that highlight. So 150 people were nominated. 150. Ten people shortlisted, I believe? Yes, I believe. And you beat all of those people. How, how, you know, how does that feel? Um, it's a great feeling, Archibald, to be honest. It is. Um, this now, it gives me the momentum to even go harder, try to achieve more. And uh, it's, it, it just fuels my ability that what it does for me. And you've been going hard from the start. And I, I, I wonder how much of that is just the experience of growing up overall. And that's where I want to take the interview right now, which is to talk a little bit about your background. Okay. So you're from Hanover. I am from Hanover. I live in Sand Bay, a very quiet community, I would say. I grew up with my mom and my siblings, Lati Con Conley. Shan, Shani, and Tiffany. So I grew up in a single parent's house. I spent most of my time with my friends, went fishing, um, swimming, I like to swim. Um, we picked, um, we went to the coconut bush, we went to mango bush. So I do most of the, the male stuff, you know, people would say, but I enjoy doing it and I find great pride doing it. And, and part of the reason, you know, you, you say grow up with your friends and your siblings mm -hmm. is because your mother was always working. Oh my God, she worked so hard um, so that she was able to provide for us because um, my father wasn't there. So she was the breadwinner. Um, so... She did lots of different things. Yes, certainly. She was a painter. She was a jack of all trade because of, due to finance, um, lack of finances, you know, if she had something to make, like as it pertains to carpentry, she would jump around and try to fix something, plumbing. She would try to get the, the little parts to fix maybe the kitchen pipe or something. So she was very handy and I believe I got, I've gotten those traits from her. And in terms of your part of the reason the family was so close to, mm -hmm. is because your mother, you know, being busy at work, mm -hmm. trying to make ends meet for all of you. Yes. And, you know, doing whatever it took. The, the older children had a certain responsibility yes, in the household. Yes, they had to step up. So my, my sisters, they had to do the cleaning, they had to do the cooking. My smaller sister and I, um, that's Shawnee, we played our part, but because we were the youngest, then, you know, our work was a little easier. So that's how I found time now to go out and play with my friends. Yes. 
Now, at, at the same time, your mom was getting all of this done, but she never pulled you in, any of you into doing that kind of work no, with her? No, she was more on educa education. So she believed that education is the key, or um, good education provides a solid foundation. So she went out and she provided, and she always tried to instill in us. You go to school, I work hard, I send you to school. So when you go to school, try to grasp as much as you can. And even though she, she sent us to school and all that, she never really like sat with us to do schooling, but she told us every evening, did you get homework, stuff like that. So she instilled um, um, the importance of, ed of education within us. Yes, she did that. And as a consequence, you've done well, but also your siblings, they've done well in school. Yes, I would say, because my sister, um, Lati, she's a teacher in Canada. Um, my other sisters, um, they're doing well. And I have just received the first class honors in hospitality and tourism and management. So I believe that I'm doing well also. At, at the same time, part of why this was really important for your mother was what she was seeing in Sandy Bay. Yes. So it's a rural community. Yes, it's a rural community. Um, and uh, you know, you have dysfunctional families within the district. So she always tried to instill with, uh, within us that it's important to stay away from troubles. Um, try not to get pregnant too early because this um, might just set back your life, set back your family. So she always wanted the best for us and um, I thank her for that. She didn't just let us to do whatever we wanted. At the same time, d did you all understand what was happening from the perspective of why you know, your father wasn't around? No, I didn't understand why my dad wasn't there, but um, I tend to be more observant than to ask questions. So, you know, I never tried to ask my mom, like, why is my dad not in my life? But um, as I was growing up, I realized the type of person he is, and maybe that's not someone um, who she wanted us to be around, yeah, because he drinks a lot of alcohol, so um, maybe that was the reason. How was I she keeping know. all of you together, though? Because she wasn't there a lot, and at the same time, she had the older children, you know, stepping up. How was she just ensuring that you are all together all the time, not losing track of anybody, <laughs> just making sure that you're on the right path? All right, my mother, she always say, um, I don't eat rice when it's hot, you know. So you know that. Um, if, all right, I never really asked anyone what it meant, but I picked out a meaning for myself. One day, you know my mother, she never beat me before. So one day, it was my birthday, she said I should take the clothes up, but you know, I'm the tomboy, so I'm out on the road. But when, when I heard the vehicle coming, I didn't get the time to pick up all the clothes off the wire. So then my mother says, see, I always tell you I don't eat rice and it's hot. So she took up the belt now to beat me. So then that's when I got the full understanding. She would have given me all the beating. So over the time, so she saved all of that beating. But luckily, my sister was there now. So she said, mommy, no, it's her birthday. You can't beat her. So my sister saved me from that one beating that I would have gotten all, all my life. But you understood overall I understood that. That, that day, I found out what it meant. I don't eat rice when it's hot. Mm -hmm. We're taking a break here on Profile. My guest is Prime Minister Youth Awardee, Kadeen Vidal, who's made headlines because of her story of getting a first class degree, studying full time while working at a market as a market vendor full time. We're back after these messages.